Dearborn, Michigan, this is body camera video of a police officer following a man into a fast food restaurant. Hey, what are you doing, man? I'm just looking for my way back to the A few Wait. minutes earlier, that man on a bicycle, Luther Gonzalez Hall, had asked the same cop for directions. I told you where it was at about two minutes ago. That was you? Yeah, I, well, who the was it? I'm sorry, I, just, I know you're the cop. So I told you where it was at, right? Yeah. So why are you in here asking the same thing? I'm not for sure where I'm going. I told you where to go. All right, thank you. That, that, is that accurate or no? Yeah. yeah. So why are you in here? I was just making sure. Making sure I told you the right thing? I just, I'm not for sure where I'm going. I told you where to go, right? Yeah. So why are you in here? All right, sorry. No, no, no. The officer's anger at not being believed or trusted recently led to this. Jury awards $9.2 million in lawsuit against Dearborn police officer for violating constitutional rights. Back in the restaurant in late 2018, the constitutional violations were just beginning. Yo. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing, eh? You don't need to touch me like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. You said you need to touch me like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, stop, stop, stop. What the f***? What the f***? Stop. I'm not going to say that. What the f***? No. What the f***? 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 That was the body camera falling onto the ground. What did I do? What did I do? I'm sorry. What did I do? I just was asking for directions, bro. I was just asking for directions, bro. Bro, I was just asking for directions, man. What is your problem, man? Okay. Hall later admitted he had consumed a few beers at a friend's house before getting lost. Sir, I was asking for directions. I told you I was there, right? Okay. Okay, can you please let me go? Hold tight. What's wrong, man? Hold tight. Easy one. Can you please let me go? What's wrong? Hold tight. <laughs> Boy, God, what is God, wrong? God. What is wrong, man? Yeah, stop, dude. You're letting me talk. Stop, stop. You're choking me. Stop. Stop. You're it. choking me. Stop it. Stop it. You're choking me, bro. You're choking me, bro. Hey, give me a car. Me, bro. What is your problem, bro? You're choking. Me. Stop it, dude. What is your problem, bro? You're choking. What is your problem? What is your problem? What is your problem? What is your problem? Dude, I swear to God. What is your problem? You're fing I got you. I got you, boy. What is your problem? At this point, Luther Gonzalez Hall briefly managed to escape. <laughs> After jarring the body camera on its side, Officer Marvin Sanders chased Hall down the street. Mm. Officer Sanders caught up with Hall away from the body camera and allegedly beat him. According to medical records, Luther Gonzalez Hall suffered multiple broken bones in one of his feet, as well as cuts and abrasions. Gonzalez Hall later said he ran after the officer had him on the ground the first time because of fear. I couldn't breathe. He was choking me, Gonzalez Hall said. I feared for my life. Police charged the bicyclist with multiple counts, including resisting a police officer. But all of the charges were eventually dropped. Gonzalez Hall sued Officer Marvin Sanders, the Dearborn Police Department, and the city for excessive force and civil rights violations. The case took a few years to go to trial, but a Michigan jury recently heard all the evidence, including the body camera video, and after a week, the jury ruled in Gonzalez Hall's favor, ordering the city to pay him $9.2 million. To this day, Gonzalez Hall still walks with a limp from multiple surgeries on his foot, and faces lingering psychological trauma. And all of this could have been avoided if Officer Marvin Sanders had kept his cool and given the young man directions again, or better yet, given him a ride home. Luther Gonzalez Hall was simply and politely asking for help. By the way, records show Officer Marvin Sanders is still employed in the Dearborn, Michigan Police Department. Let's stay in Michigan. Farther north in Bay County, a police chief has now been fired after assaulting a teenager.
So the original altercation was because you were squeaking the squeaking tires, tires on the bird's and he yelled at you from up there. Yeah, is that is that a worthy thing to hit someone's flashlight? Because he's chief of police, he's above me, he's yeah. better than me. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us. In this day and age, qualified immunity remains one of the deadliest threats to U.S. citizens. There is no doubt, and as witnessed daily, that as long as police officers in our uncivilized nation are encouraged to murder without consequences, we can expect no improvements to our life expectancy. According to the United States National Academy of Sciences, and I quote, Police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. To date, Colorado, New Mexico, and New York have repealed qualified immunity, and we remain hopeful that in the near future, serial killers with badges will be held accountable for the unreasonable execution of citizens. Furthermore, the Academy of Sciences additionally says, journalists have stepped into this void and initiated a series of systematic efforts to track police-involved killings. And I bid to you, my fellow citizens, that this rampage of certified murders must be stopped for the safety of our children, handicapped, and veterans. Please support the new Institute for Justice and their Americans Against Qualified Immunity campaign. Check them out at www.aaqi.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Twitter. That's Americans Against Qualified Immunity. That's all for now, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe and always film the police.